client calls us, they have one unit in this building, but they're moving to another unit, and they don't want to have any bug problems because they already know that bug problems exist. So they called us out to do a pre-service inspection, treat the unit, and get it ready so they can move in. And we're going to do the inspection, and I'm going to walk you through it, the things that I'm looking for. Okay, so we're doing an inspection in a brand new unit. You can see it's empty. They haven't moved in yet. And they called us because they're moving in and they want to make sure they don't have roaches here. So we're doing an inspection. And you see this is a little drop ceiling here and the plumbing is coming through. And see all those holes? This is areas where American roaches or any other insect that's in the building, especially American roaches, which is the big problem, are just going to come in. So all this, see the cracks up there? In order to stop in an apartment building from coming into your building, it all has to be sealed. Without that, you're not going to be able to get control. Let me show you in the air conditioning closet, which we can't put any chemical, by the way. Look at that big hole right there into the wall. American roaches are just going to be coming into this unit and this building has a problem uh, with American roaches. So those are the things that you need to look for to get control. Okay, so what I'm doing is on my pre-inspection, I'm looking for holes, gaps, anything in here in this kitchen that's going to tell me that we have to seal that insects can get through, especially large roaches like American cockroaches, which we have a lot in Miami. I'm looking up in the corners to make sure that there is no signs of insect appearance. So there's no eggs, there is no excrement, there is no insects going around. I'm looking around for any sign of legs, body parts of insects, anything that could tell me there's a previous problem here and it doesn't appear to be this is brand new cabinetry um, as a matter of fact when we pull this out which we're gonna pull and we're gonna do an inspection behind every appliance you can see there's all the wood scraps and there you see a little uh, what appears to be a moth flying around in here and that's what that is it's just a little moth that's in there and um, but there's all that wood and there's a spider in the back and there's webbing and there's just a sign of spiders that it's just cleaning hasn't been done back there in a while but there is no roach bodies there's no American roach bodies there's no evidence of roaches anywhere in here and you can see the spider is going after that moth uh, but that's what you were looking for is what is in the kitchen what is you know what is it that we're finding uh, here and just spiders we're really just seeing spiders and we're gonna treat that we're gonna sweep it out um, we're looking inside the laundry room we're looking for all signs on the floor any body parts it's been swept but you can see the cleaning hasn't been done yet in this unit it's pre cleaned before they're moving in and we're looking everywhere in the back of all the units to make sure we don't have any roaches uh, or any insects that we need to be aware of. There's a silver fish down there in the corner that we're seeing. I don't know if you can spot it, but there's a little silver fish. There's a little plaster bagworm right there. And that's from the moth coming in. There's nothing we can really do about plaster bagworms. There's no real control for them except just removing them and cleaning because we can't stop the insect from flying in. So all these little details is what we're looking for in this unit. Seeing if there's any ants coming in. There's no ant trails. You can see they haven't cleaned outside yet. So everything is pretty much clean in this unit. There, there really isn't a, any problems that we're foreseeing looking in the closets and see there's there's plaster bagworm right there I'm trying to 
focus on there right there. There's that. There's a lot of plaster bagworms. And that's just a sign that we've had moths in here. A little bit of webbing, looking up in the corners. Trying to spot anything that we can that will let us know what we're treating for. We're checking the corners everywhere in the house. We're looking at all the floors, IDing everything. And you can see underneath there, see that opening? We're gonna seal that with foam to make sure that the insects don't come across on. And sealing is your number one. See there's spiders there and there's that hole in the wall. See, it's even, the plate's even pulled away. And there's ants, dead ants on the floor. You can see the dead ants underneath there. So they definitely had an ant problem prior and those are spiders. Potential problem right there. That needs to get sealed off. The roaches are gonna come through there in an apartment building. So that's what we're inspecting and looking for inside a building. We're going to all the closets, let me show you. And see up in the corner, spiders right there. So it's just a matter of how, a little bit of housekeeping, getting the unit cleaned. We're gonna treat that with a little dust and my Webster, uh, where we use the D Weber, and we'll put dust all over there and that'll keep them, deter them from being there again. And once they do the house cleaning, it should be fine. Hey, we hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. This is Frank Depesky, wishing you a pest-free day.